So suppose you want to find out the GCD of two numbers, A and B. About 2000 years ago, the Greek mathematician Euclid found a very simple but surprising fact. GCD of A and B is the same as GCD of A and A minus B. So what just happened is you did a subtraction and if you keep on doing this, the numbers would get smaller and eventually the GCD would be really easy to compute, even if you started with a very large number, set of very large numbers. Now this is the core spirit of the so-called Euclidean algorithm. And today we will see it in action. We will use it to solve a problem from BSTAT 2010 the ISI entries. But you can use it to learn how to apply Euclidean algorithm. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances and research projects for school and college students. So here is the problem. We have two numbers n square minus 1 and n plus 1 whole square minus 1. And we want to know what is the largest number of primes that can divide both of these numbers. The largest number of primes of primes that can divide this the, both of these numbers that can divide both of these numbers and of course by plugging in different integers values of n, the positive integer values of n, we get the different values of these pair of numbers, right? So let's see how we can solve this problem. It's a very simple but beautiful application of Euclidean algorithm. So n square minus 1 is just n plus 1 times n minus 1. and n plus 1 whole square minus 1 is n square plus 2n plus 1 minus 1 which is n square plus 2n which is same as n times n plus 2. So we want to know how many primes divide both of these numbers. How many primes divide both n plus 1 times n minus 1 and n into n plus 2. Okay, so let's look into this uh, using the Euclidean algorithm. Euclidean algorithm. And as I said, the GCD of two numbers a and b is same as GCD of a and a minus b. Can you give a proof in the comment of this particular fact? So let's look at the two numbers that we have n plus 1 times n minus 1 and n into n plus 2. Now let's see uh, GCD of n and n plus 1 is 1. One way to think about this is that these are consecutive numbers, right? So they will not have any common factor. And if you want to use the Euclidean algorithm, you can do this. This is same as n comma n plus 1 minus n. This is your a, this is your b. So a times b, a comma b minus a. So same thing as a minus b, you can, whichever is larger, you can subtract from that. So this is same as GCD of n comma 1 
and the city of any number with one is one. So that gives us the result that G C D of n and n plus one is one. Similarly, G C D of n and n minus one is also one. So this particular piece has one G C D with each of these pieces, right? So let's look at n plus two. Let's look at n plus two and see what that does. Again, G C D of n plus one comma n plus two is one. Same idea. They are consecutive numbers. You can also use this sort of a argument using this Euclidean algorithm. The only thing that remains is n plus two and n minus one. N plus two and n minus one. So let's do that. G C D of n plus two and n minus one. Is the same as G C D of n minus one comma n plus two minus n plus one. Again, I'm using Euclidean algorithm. So this is same as G C D of n minus one comma three. So what can be the G C D of any number and three? Well, it is either one or three. It is at most three. At most three, which means. the only number that can divide both of them the only number that could possibly divide both of these two things is 3 so at most one prime number can divide both of these numbers at most one prime number can divide both of these numbers and that number is 3 i'm not saying that 3 will always divide both of them so that's the subtle thing that you have to understand i'm saying if possible only 3 could divide both of these numbers now can you give me two examples example 1 should be a case for should be a value of n for which both of these numbers are divisible by 3 example 2 is a case of a natural number n for which both of these numbers are not divisible by 3 which means they are coprime to each other so think about it put a comment in the description and i will see you in the next video chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one on one training individual evaluation and remedial sessions The reason Chinta students are successful over the last ten years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympians from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information. visit chinta.com